everyone. Welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. How's everyone doing today? Okay, a little bit of a glare. I start out with everything looking so straight for some reason. It doesn't always come out straight. I have a different kind of fold for you. Hi, Akiko. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining. I have something a little different today. I did try it first to make sure I can do it. It's a pull tab flip card. At least that's what I'm... I have no idea what the name of the card is. Um, just a couple things before we get started. Celebrations coming to an end on Sunday. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for joining. Um, celebrations ending this Sunday, February 28th. So if you haven't gotten your order in, don't wait. You don't want to wait until that last minute when computers go down and you have all kind of issues. You want to get your free stuff as soon as you can. And the joining promotion also ends on Sunday. Um, that was only during celebration where you can order you order $125 worth of merchandise which is the normal and you pay only um hi Michelle hi Barbara thanks for joining you pay $99 and then stampin up oh, I got four no I have all five stampin up is going to send you for free these five packs of paper and these paper, these um, packs of DSP will be available in the 2021-2022 annual catalog. So you cannot purchase them now, and you will not be able to purchase them. Well, demonstrators can purchase them. I believe it's April during a pre-order, but otherwise you cannot get these until May. So if that's something you would like and you're interested in joining, even as a hobby demonstrator, just to get the discount. Love to have you on the team. Um, and next week, the butterfly bouquet will be available to everybody starting March 2nd, which I believe is Tuesday. Um, the, get the, the bundle will be uh, 10 percent off you can buy the stamp set or the die separate but the bundle will be 10 percent and the DSP and the um, natural touch specialty paper these are well supplies last so if they run out I do not believe they're getting any more in um, the butterfly bouquet will only be available until May 3rd. So it goes from March 2nd to May 3rd. Okay, we're going to get started. I'm using one more all week. I don't know if anybody follows my blog, but I have been using the celebration items all week long. Um, just since this is the end, I wanted to get one more. Um card out of each one of them at least and just in case you just wanted to see different things that you can do with these stamp sets so that you don't miss out on them the touch of ink stamp set is available with it's free with a hundred dollar purchase um and then there's the well dsp i'm using today other DSP is with a $50, then there's some, actually here. So these sets are available with a $50 uh, purchase. These four sets. Then the um, Very Blessing set is available with the pack of Very Delightful DSP as a bundle, and that is with a $100 purchase. Um, 
Then we have, this is the paper I'm using today, the Paper Blooms, and then the Flower and Field DSP. That's all available with $50 purchase. And then my, my favorite DSP, one of my favorites at least, is the Oso Ombre DSP. That is free with a $50 purchase. And then if you have a party or a set, if you purchase or you host, you're a host and host a party of $300 or more, Stampin' Up! will send you the Punch Party stamp set absolutely free. So if there's anything there that you still want, there you still have a couple days left. Um, I'm also using the Happy Thoughts. This is just in the January to June mini catalog. Um, using the sentiment from that. All right, let's get started. So it's going to start out nice and easy. At least I think it is. Okay, we're just going to adhere. Oh, I, are, I had already folded this, sorry. It's an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Knight of Navy card stock, card stock scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a panel of petal pink card stock that I'm just going to adhere to the front. Um, just as like a little border. All right. Then I have a panel of the Paper Blossom, Paper Blooms, I'm sorry, Paper Blooms DSP, and I'm going to adhere it to, if I can find my snail, I'm going to adhere it to a panel of Rococo Rose. The Rococo Rose will be retiring in May. That's one of our retiring colors. It's the Rococo Rose Seaside Spray. Um, pretty Peacock. Oh my goodness, my mind's going blank. blank. Uh, terracotta Tile. And the Purple Posy. Purple Posy, we only have the paper and the Stampin' Blends markers. But those will all be retiring in May. It Now is a great time to stock up on those. Um, hi, Lori. Thanks for joining. Hi, Sandy. Great time to stock up on those um, while you can earn your celebration items. Okay, so there is the card front. Now, we're going to take... I'm going to take my the classic label punch okay and I'm just gonna slide it in just in this all the way in just kind of in the center best I can in the center and just give it a little punch hmm. there we go okay all right and then we're gonna just put this on the side for a second. I did do some cutting and stamping ahead of time. I took a panel of Knight of Navy, which is two inches by six inches, and I scored it at the two inch mark and the two and a quarter inch mark. On this end, I'm going, whoops, I'm going to punch it with the scallop. Let me see if I can get it without the glare. The scallop tag topper punch and I'm just going to slide it all the way in give it a little punch sorry if I'm shaking the camera here all right I do have to stamp the sentiment on this one um, I am going to I did stamp the butterfly ahead of time because I couldn't decide if I wanted to stamp the butterfly in the Knight of Navy and then color the inside or stamp it with the fill because I have this, it's an OCD problem, I guess, with coloring outside the lines. I know it's art, but it's still, it's, I just, I'm getting used to it. And those of you who know me, who have been watching, you know I lost my largest stitch square 
die. That's what I was cutting these all out with. And I need the, needed the largest one, so I called my team leader. Thank you, Amy. And she measured it for me so I knew which of the regular layering squares to use. So that's what I did just to improvise for here. I'm going to adhere the, the stamp butterfly to the largest square, just right in the center. Some stamp and seal. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment from a touch of ink. I don't know if you could see it. It's the Hello Friend. I'm going to stamp that in Knight of Navy in the center of... This is the third from the largest or the second smallest um, stitch square. Make sure that's inked up. My inks are so dry right now, and I don't want to re-ink them because then I know what's going to happen. As soon as it starts getting warmer, they're going to be too juicy. Stamp this right in the center. Just like that. And then I'm going to adhere this to, it was the second largest um, stitched, uh, second largest square from the stitched shapes dies. And we're just going to adhere that right in the center. All right. And I'm going to adhere this one right on the end and, and I know I took it out I just have to see where I put it I'm gonna well with this butterfly I'm gonna use tear and tape because this piece is gonna be getting moved around a lot I want to make sure that's gonna stay in place this one here I can put in with my stamp and seal This right there. Get it as centered as we could. Just like that. And we're going to fold it on the lines, on the fold, the score lines. That one. And that one. And then we're going to take this butterfly and we're going to put it on the top and this is where I'm going to use my my um, tear and tape. You can use any sturdy um, adhesive would do if you have the stamp and seal plus. I don't have the stamp and seal plus but you want something that's going to hold up um, to people moving it. have this issue with this. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to fold this down like that. And I'm going to adhere this right over the top, right on the right up against the edge there. Just hmm. Okay, it was not supposed to stick to my table. Actually, you know what? Right. There we go. Okay, then this is going to get inserted in here. I might have to make sure that glue is off. Just take that little bit off because I don't want it to stick to the card. 
Okay, so we're going to insert this in here. We're going to put it right like that. And what I what you want to do is you do not want to get glue on this piece here. Okay, we just want to get it on this one. So again, I'm going to because it's going to get tugged a little bit. I am going to use my tear and tape. This time I'm going to make sure the tear and tape is only oh, there. Only on that part. I'm going to put a couple pieces just to make sure it stays down. should hold. The tear and tape's pretty strong. <clears throat> we are having, it is a gorgeous day out today. Almost like a spring day. It's nice walking home, not having to balance myself on ice. Most of the ice was melted. I know this is a tease where it's going to probably get cold again. Um, hi Chris, thank you for joining. Oh, come on. No, there we go. All right. And we're going to put this, I guess, right about. about there. Give it a good press. And we're going to cross our fingers and hope this works like it's supposed to now. It's not working. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have a little issue here. I put it in a little bit too. Let's see if I can get this off. Now that I put, I know exactly what I did. Oh boy, that was not smart. Hang on, sorry. I know exactly what I did wrong. I put the tear and tape in a little bit too far. See if I can get this. I do. Luckily, I have another piece cut if I rip this. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, we're gonna. And believe me, I did. I've made this card before. Okay, so. We're going to take this off, and we're going to take this piece off, and we're going to recut the pull tab. Okay, but that's all that has to get cut. All right, so I believe this was already six inches by two. And then I'm going to score it at two inches. And two and a quarter. And we're going to re-adhere this. With the snail. Give this a good fold. Here, this end with tear and tape, but now this time, this time around, I'll be a little more careful with it, with the tear and tape. So he 
piece still one here. All right. That was a pretty quick save. Hopefully this will work this time. Sorry about that. And put this right on the end. Make sure we're centered. Okay. Now we are just going to put some adhesive right there. Make sure before I to punch the end. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little adhesive right here this time. And actually, just put it one piece of tear and tape. Well, if I didn't make the mistake, then you guys wouldn't know what could happen if you put it in the wrong spot. So we'll adhere that down. And it best to, hopefully it'll work this time. There we go. So, then I'll just fix that glue. In this, we're going to put on the card base. We're going to pop it up with dimensionals because you don't want to glue it down because then this will I'll be back in the same spot I was. I'm going to put a few dimensionals around it. I just want to make sure Obviously, you don't want to put any on there, so I'm just going to put them on either side. Just want to make sure it's going to be popped up. And I'm going to put one in the back, too, just... With this one, I'd rather have a little extra. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at, um, I'm trying, but I'm not looking at comments since the card has now frustrated me a little bit. Because yesterday when I did it, it worked perfectly. All right, let me make sure I have it the right way. And we'll just center this. There we go. Okay, so there's the outside, and then the inside we're just going to do real quick. I picked the sentiment, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. Stamp that. I'm going to stamp a butterfly on the inside. Let's do this first, make sure I get it straight. And... Good thing paper has two sides. Try not to press down as hard. There we go. All right, and then stamp. My butterfly. Oop. 
Oops, I'm going to stamp my butterfly upside down too. Ooh. Just put him right there. And while I'm stamping the butterfly, I might as well stamp the envelope. Do them both at the same time. Do the inside I did in petal pink. Ink off. And I'm gonna do my best to it's gonna be out the out of the lines. It just has to be. Having the Italian mother my whole life telling me to color in the lines. You're not, not supposed to color out of the lines. Everything's supposed to be in the lines. I think that's where that's my issue comes from, that I have trouble going out of the lines. We're just going to adhere this inside the card. And sometimes when you have to turn the paper over, like I did, you get a little bit of a rough edge. So I just go over it with my bone folder to smooth it out. If that doesn't bother you, then... Snail, or not snail, I'm sorry. Stampin' Seal is just giving me a hard time today. This on the inside. Just like that. And then I'm going to add a couple of the blue adhesive back gems, the Knight of Navy ones, to the front. Just add a couple here. I'll do the envelope flap and we'll be done. So despite my little error that I made, it was a fairly quick card. But now at least you know what not to do when you're adhering it. This quick little trim. And there you go. A little hello friend. And on the inside. Now, when you do mail it, obviously this is going to stick out a little and I have found that if you could just fold it over there's my bone folder give it a little fold and people will know what to do when they see that at least I hope they do and then so then it'll fit in the envelope and you just have to open it up and they just have to pull it open so there you have it hope you like it Hope you give it a try, and if so, please post a picture on my Facebook page um, below the video. I'd love to see your take on this. Um, don't forget about... Hi, Chai. Thank you for joining. Chai Chi. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry. 
Um, don't forget about celebration ending February 28th. Don't miss out on those free products if you want some. All right, I will be back next Wednesday at 4 o'clock with another card. I'm not, actually I have an idea of what I'm doing for next week already. I, this was, I just wanted to do one more thing with the um, celebration items, but I think I have something planned for next week and I think you might like it. All right, hope to see you next week. Hope you all have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.